Hello everybody and welcome back to a new place like home where we are still trying to find the recipe for Olivier salad. I'm, sh I'm just going to make absolutely sure again. I, I mean, I know I already have grilled vegetables. Grilled vegetables was for something, wasn't it? I'm sure that was for something that Mark could give me. Um, but yeah, definitely no Olivier salad yet. But, you know, we've still got lots to explore still and I may yet find it so we're gonna go and finish off that little area up top that I didn't manage to finish last time because uh, my health just got so low it sucked I just want to see what it is that the grilled salad does is it the upgraded um sprinkler no, that's a pizza I must have already done it then unless it's something that Rudy can do I just go and check all their recipes for a minute. I haven't done this in ages, so maybe I already made grilled stuff. I don't know. Rudy is in so many places right now. Um, bread and ice cream. Hmm. So maybe I already had that recipe. Maybe I'd worked it out, or maybe I got it twice. I am very confused. I got a glitchy chicken. All right, fine. Um, it's going to be such a pain to try and work it out, though. Okay, but anyway, I, I had last time um, sorted everything out so that I could go straight back to the Lonely Hills. So that is what I will do. But I am wondering whether I should go to the Lonely Hills underground first. Because I think I may have gotten all of the suitcases from... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. Just for a bit of a change as well. Let's go and have an explore around the underground and see what we can find. I think I've done a lot of it, but there's still some stuff to do. Sorry, I'm still trying to find a salad. You guys have also been saying that I missed um, a, a, like a junk pile up here. I don't know if you were talking about this one because that one can't be uh, removed. So I don't know whether it's just that I already got rid of the one that you were talking about. Oh no, down here, okay. Maybe that's what you were talking about. There we are. If it was, then it is now gone. Wonderful. It's probably always gonna be like tiny little pockets of things that I miss. But I try my best to at least get the obvious stuff. Right, so I'm gonna head through to this underground here because this is the one that seems to be like the most um well the least done of all of them I guess I think I need a good clean and then I do need to if I still don't find that salad recipe down here then I'll have to go all the way back up to the top of the well I will anyway because I'm not gonna leave it just all dirty and disgusting and full of robots for then, how am I to bring peace to the earth, you know? Another piece of floating rubbish. I can't do anything about that, so I, I just kind of have to make my peace with it in a way. So what does that go through to? Trying to get my bearings. So am I very clean? Ah, right, right, right. So this is uh, just just by the hole, actually. Okay. Yeah. No, I get I get where that is. Cool. I 
I think I'm gonna clean from the steps onwards and then I'm gonna come back to this uh, little pit area at the end. I don't know why I've decided that, but it's how I feel I want to clean for some reason. He just wants to run and see what's down here. And see how much I've got to do. About all of that. And then I'm back here. Okay. How, how the how the goodness I've not found this uh, recipe yet then is beyond me, it really is. I've cleaned so much stuff up. Maybe, maybe I'll find it in the, the new area, I don't know. I'll just clean backwards, I think. Definitely missed something somewhere, haven't I? And it's going from I've got plenty to clean to there's not much left to clean now, and maybe I'm not going to find it. Here's a suitcase. Yes! Oh, I was running out of places I could have been. Oh my goodness me. Okay, so uh, we'll finish cleaning up. That was like one of the last places I could have possibly looked for it. We'll finish cleaning up, then we'll get the, the salad and stuff made for Frank. We'll get his house done. We'll get the woodlands all... The, the, the deer all sorted out and everything like that and then we shall then we shall move on to the new area I don't know how much content will be I don't know how many episodes will be left now but it's cool because as I say I've got more more things to do uh, I'm going to chase you down and who are you? good job little cubot so yeah if you're looking for the Olivier salad recipe it is in the underground just very close to the entrance here where uh, Napoleon was okay so it's the Napoleon sort of entrance through just in case you're wondering where that is and you can also get to there by um, just going in um, I think honestly uh, it's just trying to show you kind of how to get in here. The best way to get in here is... Um. <laughs> right, so if you go in from um, where you go down to get the, the to do the bulbinator stuff and all that, uh, just by Rudy and by the hole and everything, that, that entrance there. Do this puzzle. Go in. Turn left. And then just keep going around. And keep following it around. Following it around. Till you get to a door. Go through the door. Turn to your right. And there'll be a suitcase with the recipe. You can also obviously see how I make this on camera. And that will help you too. <laughs> so the suitcase was over there. Oh my goodness me. That was tough, wasn't it? I was a bit worried I was going to have to just try and make it from scratch and it was going to be a nightmare. I'm going to have to use like every single ingredient I had all together. And it's possible. But I'd much rather find the recipes while I'm out exploring. I'm not going to lie.
But yeah, I'll just head backwards through here, just uh, cleaning it all up. And then I'll head, up, head back to the top. I still have to find Cornelius as well in this area. Um, who last time was on top of a big mountain. And I haven't found the way to get into the big mountain yet either. So that is something I would also like to try and do this episode if I can. I'm only 10 minutes in, so there's a good chance I might get to that, but we'll see. If I don't finish it this episode, it'll definitely be next episode. And it'll be 100% finished. It'll be like every scrap of rubbish cleaned up, except for the impossible ones. The village is so much, so much better now for invisible scrap. Uh, sorry, for, for indestructible scrap, I suppose. Floating scrap. It's so much better for it. There was none in the village at all. But now there's like some in the Lonely Hills. And I imagine it's probably going to be worse in the new area, in the, in the frozen peaks. That is the right name for the area, right? Yeah, the Frozen Peaks, because the Frozen Peaks is so brand new that they haven't had time to bug fix yet, probably. So they probably have spent, you know, they've had two iterations now to fix all the bits of floating scrap and trash and stuff in the village. But they haven't had quite as long for the Lonely Hills and they've had even less long again. Oh, we're nearly there now. Yay. this area down here. Also, I still haven't worked out how to get, I mean, did, is that like a creature quest, an animal adventure? Brother, I require oats. I will bring them oats. I've not found oats yet and I've done this whole area and usually generally in this game it seems like the whole area like you'll be able to do all the quests in an area if you finish the area so I mean the only thing I can think to do is maybe go and speak to Harold because he is like an expert on pigs maybe he will have some insight onto how to get oats or something. I know he gives you seeds if you run out of seeds as well, so I know he sometimes gives seeds out as well. Other than that, maybe speaking to the scientists in the Frozen Valley, but as I say, it would be unusual for this game to like expect you could to go to a different area to fix something in a certain area. So far, everything's been very self-contained. And I'm aware that I just went and spoke to uh, Rudy and I just went and spoke to Harold. So the only two that, sorry, and Mark. So the only two I haven't spoken to is Frank and Harold. And out of those two, I expect Harold's more likely to be able to help me with pig quests. But if he doesn't, I will go and speak to Frank. Although well, Frank seems to be more about locked doors and things. Still haven't found, unless I have, I have not. I still, still, still haven't found that final key piece. That's super annoying. I hope that shows up when I, I don't know, finish doing the the bit at the top or whatever, or somewhere around here. Although, like, it's going to be way easier for me to find more key pieces, I imagine, than it's going to be for me to um, have found that Olivier salad recipe. So, like, out of the two that could have popped out of that chest, I think I know which one I prefer to have found. get all of this and once I've gotten all of that I think I'm done with the underground here <sighs> could be 
be some bits and pieces that I've not picked up. I just don't know. I just don't know where I'm going to find that key piece. I do believe that this is the end of uh, the underground here. But I may come down later and have a run around. If I still haven't found the key piece, I'll come and have a run around and everything. However, so I think that's just a cube over there. Yeah. I think I've looked pretty much everywhere here now. So I'm going to head back, uh, probably up this ladder actually. And I'm going to head up the hill. And I'm going to see if I can find them. In fact, the key might be, it might be on the top of the mountain. Let's see, can I get up to the top of the mountain? Okay, because that might be where it is. So I'm just thinking we haven't found Cornelius yet. And that might be the key to it, the key to the key. It might be up there with him. Because these are, the, these are the final bits of this area. I think we're going to have it done today. Provided the key is where I think it is. And I've got I've got a feeling now. Now I thought about that. I'm like, oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. Then we'll go back to the farm. We'll make the Olivier salad. Hand that into uh, Frank. Finish off the deer and everything. And then hopefully... Okay, plenty of room in my inventory at the moment. And then hopefully that will mean that uh, I'm completely finished with this. Fingers crossed. Fingers very crossed. And then we will head on to the frozen peaks and we'll see what different like game mechanics and stuff. I'm actually super excited about that. I'm behind this time though. I was um I was looking at my old videos and I'd I'd already given the Olivier salad to uh, Frank by episode 15 last time. However, this time I'm being so much more thorough about tidying up, so it does not surprise me that I'm a little bit more behind this time. So I'm going to head like behind the thing. And let's go see if we can if we can work out how to get up to Cornelius cuz I'm sure he's on top of a mountain. I just don't know how to get up there. Is it up this way? Yes, it's up this way. And I think this is where I'll find the final key as well. And then I will finish like cleaning up and de-roboting the very top area there. And uh, just because that will be the final little bit to do. Okay, so we've got a suitcase here. What's in it? More old wood. Okay. And there was a ladder. Oh, and it's a brand new day, so we'll get some daylight as well, which will be quite nice. this duck and I will be cleaning this as I go because this will be the only opportunity I get but look at what a lovely job I've done whole place is just nice and clean I have 6,000 preserves now that is off the charts <laughs> okay. I am the preserve queen Some quality wood. We've got two different ladders up here. I might be able to go round here though as well. I seem to remember there being a box here. Yep. See, my memory is guiding me in certain things. Let's try up here. trash pile I think I've done about 15 of them now 
I've been very thorough with this area. I've been more thorough than you need to be, but it's a pretty good walkthrough, I think. I found most everything. Any one of these suitcases could have the key in it, so I'm being really careful to make sure that any suitcases there are, I grab. Not there, though. And I think up here somewhere is our Mr. Cornelius. I don't think I can go any further backwards there. Hello! Milady, good to see you again. I must say, these fumes make the view a lot less appealing. What fumes? Look how clean it is. Look at the look at the job I did. Look at it. Anyway, take this as a keepsake. Now, would you like to hear some stories about this place or do you have to go? Sure. What can I say? Aggressive mining is to blame for what happened here, but stay vigilant. We can still help this place. That wasn't much of a story, was it? Look, there's a sword in the stone. Sword in the stone. Look at the view. Stunning. Key? Keeper, yes! Ha ha ha, I found it. I also have some chicken wallpaper. Oh my goodness, I've got to put that in my house. Oh. Right, so now if I fall down here in the right way... <laughs> oh, it won't let me. Oh no, okay. Well, in that case, I've got to head back down. And what I need to do now... Let's have a look at the quests. So we've done... Oh, I've got two key parts at home and open the green door in the hallway, so I need to go back and open the door. I need to go back and cook an Olivier salad. And then help Frank return to the... Yeah, I should be able to do everything now. Everything that it has asked me to do should be doable. Oh, I've got to go down the ladder. I tried to parkour my way down, but it's just not going to let me, is it? So I am going to head back and finish cleaning the one place that I have not cleaned. Up there? No. Let me up. So the one place that I have not cleaned is um, around here, up the top. I've got my well now. Hopefully that'll help me in the frozen peaks. I think there might I think Guild Wars 2 might have had an area called the Shivering Peaks, possibly. So I think I might be getting a bit confused with the names of certain things. <laughs> From other games that I have played. Eventually they all start to merge into one in your head. If it hasn't happened to you yet, I promise you it will. At some point. Might be alright now, but as you get older, it's gonna happen. So yeah, there wasn't really much around here, other than some deer. I'm gonna have to run around and find deer, so I'm gonna have to try and remember, like, remember where they are. But with the place so clean now, it shouldn't be as difficult. I think I've cleaned a lot of the robots around here as well anyway, so that's gonna be not so bad too. Although part of me thinks I should have actually just gone and um, left myself something to do while the woodlet was making itself and stuff. So what I may need to do is start on the frozen peaks while things are being built. I don't mind that too much though because if I know that all I've got to do is pop back quickly and finish off the area. It's not as bad as like if I've left the whole thing and just gone on to the new thing and haven't finished the old at all. Because I know that once uh, I put in the, the, the woodlet, it'll probably take some time to upgrade itself. Which I, sh I probably should be cleaning up around here while I do that. But now I'm up here, I'm like, I don't really want to leave until it's finished either. So it's kind of a bit annoying. 
I did not plan, but as I say, I'll just I'll just go and do some farming or some cleaning or something while that happens, or I will Yeah, what I'll do is I won't clean my inventory out. I'll just make the Olivier salad and come back straight away and then I'll go back to my farm through the fast travel and I will just go it like I'll sort out all my recycling and all of my crops and everything then so maybe that would be a, a way to pass the time while I'm waiting for it I need to have a look up there as well This shouldn't take too long, maybe like another 10 minutes, and then I know that I've cleaned every scrap of trash in the place, which is amazing. Happy with that. This is such a nice full playthrough, and like all of the quests worked so well this time compared to last time as well. Like all this, the silly bugs on the apple tree quests and things like that. Apparently, there was a, also a bug with the bulbinator, uh, but that didn't seem to affect me. So I think the fact that I left it a few days for like um, the very early patches to go through. Because usually, like, a few days after any, like, big release like this happens, there'll be a little bit of a, a patch going on. And I kind of waited for that to happen. So I think I may have just been very slightly behind uh, those of you that have caught the bugs. And I have maybe benefited from your bug reports and things. There are some evil robots around here trying to, trying to be scallywags and, and get me. Definitely one of those annoying uh, projectile ones. I hate them. They're so annoying. They're, they're okay. They're easy to deal with if you can see them. But, um, this one is hiding somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, and he's got a little friend too. Okay. Oh, there's more than one. That's why they're being so particularly annoying. Ah. They are all gone. Lovely. A little bit more cleaning left to do down here. A little bit more up the top there. Got to go up that ladder as well. And that will be the Lonely Hills completely cleaned up. Are you proud of me for my awesome cleaning skills? Super, which is basically super, super, super amounts of patience. <laughs> it's been nice chatting while we've been cleaning, actually. It's kind of like in Porsche when we go mining and we, or, or tree chopping and we have a little tree chopping or mining conversation. Best conversations happen when we are doing mining and things because then I can chat to you about my life and the ferrets and all, the, all sorts of interesting things like that. Midna was being cute today. She was rolling on her back, well, actually on her side, in, on, in, in, like in her cage. But she was like really close to the bars, so I was sticking my fingers in and tickling her tummy while she was rolling. It was the cutest. That's like when, when you know, I some I spend a lot of time being like, oh, I don't want to clean those ferrets again. Like I've done it twice this week. Ah, and it's like an hour and a half job to clean the, all their cages out properly. Um, so I was like, you know, you spend about three hours a week just cleaning them. But when you get little moments like that with them, it's like so worth it. They're so cute. And Aries was sleeping, looking like he was smiling. You know when your pet sometimes, like cats sometimes do it as well. They sometimes, they just like, for some reason in their sleep, their mouth just like sort of turns up a little bit more than normal. And it looks like they're smiling. It's the sweetest thing. I haven't seen Tilly all day. She, she, I think, is making the most of the last bits of nice weather we're going to get because you give it about another four to six weeks, it's going to be freezing. We've got September, we might have some nice weather for the beginning of September. Like, and then I'm already wearing long sleeves 
in the house at the moment. I'm not wearing like t-shirts and stuff anymore. I've got a, a light long sleeve top on right now and jeans. So that's the kind of temperature you're looking at right now. And it's only gonna get colder. Okay, so while I was having that, that little chat, see, chats make it go so much faster, right? So while we was having that little chat, I mean, it, it would probably be actually very good for me to um, come back here because uh, the people in the Shivering Peaks, sorry, the, the Frozen Peaks, are going to ask me to come back and find all these bird nests, aren't they? So it's probably actually a good thing. And these will be the last robots I have to fight. Oh, how beautiful. There's quite a lot of junk up here, isn't there? That's a huge amount. Is it, I think it is there to... It's like, a, you think you're finished? Well, go up this ladder and let's see if you're finished. That's, that's, that's what they were doing when they made this area. Definitely. And we're going to even put robots up here. We're not going to make this easy for you. No, 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 no. <laughs> but yeah, I want to finish this area. My inventory is full. Really? No. Well. Well, I guess we're going back then. I really wanted to try not to have to go back and come all the way back up here but seeing as we are going back um i will come back up here and finish that later i'm gonna need to come back up here to find deer i'm going to need to come back up here to find um birds nests and stuff so i will try and remember that there's one little bit of trash that i just have not managed to do yay but the rest is looking so tidy i mean is that not worth it? Look at it. It's so pretty. It's so trash free. And almost, I mean, it almost doesn't look like it. Well, I suppose actually this is a, this is not actually, I say it's a junkyard, but it's not, it's a strip mine. And a strip mine really shouldn't have big piles of junk ever. It should look more like this. Although I can't exactly do up the vehicles. I wish I could, it'd be amazing. If you could do up the vehicles and they would become like little fast, like if you do them up, they become like um, uh, fast travel points or something. That'd be so cool. But you know, not my game. It doesn't have to be like that, okay? We'll just head around the corner and I will um, head back to the farm and then we are going to make before the end of the episode we are going to have the uh, the deer wood look being finished off and everything like that and then hopefully next episode we'll get to go and see Frank's uh, home in the village see where he lives so the village is slowly getting sorted out which is really nice because I was saying earlier on like there's all these buildings that look like they should be something and they are <laughs> that's very gratifying my inventory, I know my inventory is full. So I'm gonna start. Oh look, okay, so I can finally start planting some of the seeds as well. I'm just gonna start by making my inventory a little less full, okay? So the first thing that I can do to help with that is to get rid of some of these trash piles. It's a super fast way to get the inventory a little bit uh, more manageable and workable. Apparently I didn't hit recycle last time on that one. Okay. It looks like these ones are done now as well. Um, there's like one extra one there, but oh well. I can always take that and put it away somewhere if I feel like it doesn't fit or look nice. But it is good to have the extra capacity to recycle because there is a lot to be recycled. I did a lot of cleaning. So much cleaning. So now I've got like the capacity to do 500 times one, two, three, four, five. Well, times 15, I suppose. I don't get why that sticks out so much more. 
Oh yeah, because of the... I'd probably need to move them up a little bit. Because those ones are able to be like butted right up against each other and those ones are not so maybe I mean when I've not got quite such a full inventory full of rubbish I might be able to uh, move them around to make them look a little bit neater but at the moment my my inventory is more the uh, priority right now to be honest with you check some rubber and some glue and some electric waste Keep a little bit of electric waste. Some old wood. Kind of do the same here. One stack of rubber. Looks like a rubble. Stack of old wood. Stack of rubble. Stack of old wood. And the rest I'll go and put into a chest. I never know exactly what's going to be ahead of me, so it's definitely worth doing. Okay, then I'm actually going to make the Olivier salad. Um, let's see what it takes. Mayo, corn, tomato. Okay, should be able to do that. A bit low on tomatoes in this old box, aren't I? Should have enough though. Mayo. Corn. So cook. Yay, Olivier salad is done. I think I have more tomatoes um, growing, so I may need to remember to put a few more tomatoes and a few more corn and stuff in here. Uh, I've got plenty of carrots right now. I need to make sure I take carrots with me. I'll actually take 10. And uh, make sure I've got a stack of old wood, which I do. Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's go and see Frank. Shouldn't take me long. Just quickly nip in and nip out. And that way I'll have time to do all of the upgrades and things. I imagine some of these areas might not even get... Um, like some of the doors in the fast travel location might not even open up uh, until the because it might be for areas that haven't been made yet i imagine there'll be at least one uh frozen peaks area but right doc grand dr frank i got the wood and something special for you doctor i'm gonna have to mark this video for double entendres or something splendid i must say i shiver with anticipation who wrote this, honestly? Now, the pasture is yours. You've done a tremendous service to the valley. Uh, almost as tremendous as me, so to the valley. So is the whole place the valley, maybe? Uh, okay, so go complete the woodland and be kind to the deer. You've proven yourself to be capable enough to take care of lonely hills by yourself. I believe I can return back to the village and rebuild my own old house. Nice. Visit me sometime. The house is much closer to your farm than this shack, after all. Okay. Beautiful. So we've finished the quest, hopefully now. That is, um, of course, my dear. Uh, sorry, that is uh, the Lonely Hills to help Frank return to his home in the village. So I need to open the green door, which I think I should be able to do now, and uh, finish the woodlet. So when I go back home, I'll finish the green door as well. And then we've got to go find all the deer and put them all in and finish the little bit at the top there and then head on to the new area so we're at 40 minutes already i may have to do a tiny bit of finishing off uh, next episode but it really won't be much you want to be the first one to live in there do you oh, i see <laughs> so what do we need to get this sorted nothing apparently we already had the stuff cool so i need to wait for that which i knew which i knew i knew i need to do and then we need to come back later 
and find the deer, which I, as I say, I might do that one and try to find all the birds anyway. I don't know what the the deer will give you. Probably something I don't need. More seeds, yay! So interesting, now Frank and Rudy have completely disappeared from these locations and gone back to the village. So I assume that's because I kind of finished the uh, finished the area so I don't probably need to come back here so they're like well we don't need to be here right so now I'll go finish off um, I didn't want to completely I wanted to have a bit of inventory space but I didn't want to completely finish off the farm okay should be able to get rid of some seeds I think now because everything is grown perfect Most of this will go into the. As I say, I'll um I'll replace the stack of tomatoes, and just make sure I do have a stack of like everything that I'm putting in there. But mostly, don't really need it. I don't know. What are your opinions on roaming animals? Do you like to? I think I did already ask this. But do you like to coral all of the animals, or do you like to like leave some of them roaming? I'm interested. Also, are you also an agent of chaos when you uh, when you plant and harvest your fields like me, or are you more organised? Inventory's full. That's so a band name, right? Agents of Chaos. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly head here and I'm gonna look at what I've got. I don't need more than that many blueberries. I don't need that many carrots anymore. I'm going to change the corn over to have 10 and the tomatoes to have 10. Any more duck eggs? I think I've got a stack. Of oh, the peppers is only three. Let's get them back up to 10. Peaches, I've got trees and trees full. Let's say if I had a space for the blueberries, I would use it, but I don't. So let's start filling up the processors. It's rather easy to get rid of stuff in these processors now. They are massive. I planted a lot of carrots. I keep forgetting I can right click. I apologize for that. Inventory is not full. Don't be a liar, Ellen. So let's see what we've got in here. There are a few things that need to go. Um, duck eggs could... Yeah, we've, we need a few more duck eggs, I think. Got loads of seeds, but I, need, I do need to do some planting. Um, put the mayonnaise back. I do need mayonnaise. Any others? There's a few tomatoes there that didn't go in. A few strawberries. The rest is seeds. Okay, so I've got one more preserver that can be used for these bits and pieces. And I can put things away and plant and all that good stuff and then I'm ready for the next episode. So... I'm being good with stuff like this at the moment. So I'm keeping some building materials, but also trying to be quite good at putting things away, keeping a balance. I am just keeping the books in my inventory at this point. Um, the cleansing fungus, I might put that in like with the batteries or something, just like right out of the way. I think now I need to put away the bubble. Uh, 
I'm gonna need the acorns for the deer taming, I'm pretty sure. I've got all these seeds. I'll put the well right at the, the beginning there. Move all of these down onto the hot bars if I can. I've got more than I can do that with, but never mind. Um, components I found. So at the moment I need to make ice cream and bread and I wanted to also have a chat with Harold and see if he had any ideas about those pigs. Also I want to go put my chicken wallpaper up. Oh my goodness, I've got so much to do, right? Okay, let's just go and like shove these, shove these into the ground. Ellen Farmer style. She lab Ellen Farmer style. <laughs> Which is as randomly as humanly possible. If this was like Minecraft or something, I would be totally just like trying to make it so pretty, but I don't know what it is about this game. I just want to slam those vegetables into the ground, grow them, get them up again. Uh, and, and I think because you get so many of them really, it's definitely not something where I'm like, I'm going to be really careful about how I do all of this and la la la. It's like, no, quick, 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 quick. I was playing it on my own, I don't know whether I would be a bit more, a bit quicker, uh, sorry, a bit, uh, a bit more thorough and slow with it all, I'm not really sure. There's me like, yay, I managed to recycle all of it, but I hadn't actually finished harvesting the fields. I might need to put more preservers in at this rate. And again, I did just finish up, like, getting all of the seeds out of a huge area. Massive area, so. In a couple of harvest time, I might find that where I'm going back and spending time finding bird nests and things instead, as I'm almost certain that that's going to be what they're going to ask me to do, you run around the place finding bird nests, um, that I might not spend as much time cleaning up Depends what kind of underground it has as well. I've cleaned all of the underground in the underneath the village and uh, in the Lonely Hills. So I think at one point I called it the Lonely Valley as well. <laughs> like I think I even called an episode that. I am so bad with names. Right, so orange tree seeds don't need to be there. Uh, peach tree seeds don't need to be there either. And I just, I can't right click to put them from the hot bar to the inventory, so. We'll have to do that by hand. Corn and pumpkins and potatoes and stuff. They will all need to be down there. I have so many boxes now. I kind of feel like they should all be together. It's because they're not stackable in the slightest. Okay, so I'll need to put the fields away um, and all of that. So I'll plant the rest of these. I'll put the fields away, put the seeds away. We'll go and open that door in my house. We'll open up the whole house. We'll maybe give it a bit of a decorate this time. See if the decorations are, are looking... Um, are more filling the rooms or whether they still kind of look the same as they did last time. I'll be super interested to find that out actually. Come on. And lettuces. It's actually kind of looking neat in a way because they are at least in rows. Although we've got two different rows of uh, blueberries, unfortunately. So one thing I also want to quickly do is go to the workbench and try and kind of give myself an idea of how many things are left for me to research because it's going to give me an idea let's have a look and then I'll pop everything away I'm kind of interested in what's left what I haven't done so 
We've done the super recycler, the super kitchen, and the super like upgrades for everything. I've upgraded the chicken coop. We don't have an upgrade for the cube or the pigsty. I have not made a cow shed yet. So that's the first thing that I've found that we haven't been able to make. We also don't have a turbo sprinkler yet because I haven't found the recipe for that. We don't have tree covers, cheese houses, or looms. So things for, so I imagine there's gonna maybe be sheep. So I don't know what that, that's gonna be in the new area. So that's all in the new area. And also the upgraded uh, bird houses. Water filter, glass drill, I need to craft the berry pickers gloves. I've got more components now, so I should be able to do that. But the only ones that I don't have are actually the yeast, the, the running speed increases. Um, so I need to do those, but all of the rest of the upgrades I've got, and then some of the decorations to purchase from Frank, I can do that um, in the village and stuff anyway. But most of the upgrades I'm going to need, I have now, other than the turbo sprinkler and the cows and stuff. I'm pretty sure I have everything from Harold. I did want to speak to Harold though about those pigs. Shall I do that next episode though? Yeah, it's 52 minutes now. So let's go to my tree house. I'll maybe, I'm not even going to open the door actually. I'm going to go to sleep for once in my life. And we're gonna end the episode there. And then next time I'll start off around the farm. We'll finish putting things away. We'll um, open the door. So I'll basically try and finish all of the quests in the Lonely Hills off and then we'll start in the Frozen Peaks. So I hope you're looking forward to that because I am. And I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.